Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. Yep, this is not clickbait or a drill. This is for real. After 10 years of waiting, we are finally going to be getting a sequel to Chronicle. The Lord is good. What we're going to be discussing here today, guys, is we finally got the announcement that Chronicle 2 is actually in the works. Not just that, we have plot details on what will be going down in this second Chronicle movie. We'll be diving into all that along whether we think this is a good idea or if it should have just been one of those movies that never got a sequel and we forever cherish. But I'm going to get your guys' opinions down below. I'm hoping there's a lot of you out there who have seen the movie Chronicle. It's a really great found footage movie that I think was ahead of its time, had so much into it, and a world that they barely tapped into, as well as don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and if you want more great movie content, head your way. All right, so this came out of nowhere all late last night from producers John Davis, who right now is doing the rounds because his most recent movie, Jungle Cruise, that he produced is out and about, so people are interviewing him, asking him about the movie, and he just decided to open up and let us know that Chronicle 2 is headed our way. Now, if you have not seen the first Chronicle movie, I suggest you go check it out, then come back to this video, because I am going to be talking some spoilers on that first movie, and Trust me guys, it's a movie I think you would really dig. To me right now, it's still my favorite found footage movie ever made. The movie's all told through found footage and it tells the story of a group of unlikely friends who stumble upon this really weird glowing rock that then gives them telekinetic abilities. From there, they start recording their progress of these powers, what they can do with it, only for one member of the group to kind of go the opposite way from the rest. Ever since I saw that first Chronicle movie, I had been begging for a sequel and wanted to see more of this world because while that was a great story, they did not touch upon where their powers came from, how they got this ability, are there more people out there with those powers who accidentally stumbled upon a glowing rock, plus the one surviving member at the end of the movie, what did he go off and do? Where is he today? Well, now here we have what he says the sequel is going to be about, and he goes, We're working on Chronicle 2 right now, and I think it's going to be great. We're working on it at Fox 20th Century Studio. So this is technically a Disney movie. It's going to give us a chance to tell the story in a different way. We're going to tell it from the female point of view. It will have been 10 years since the event happened in Seattle, and a lot of it's going to deal with fake news and real news and cover-ups. More interestingly, it's the next generation getting these powers that are corruptive. These are young women finishing college. They are empowered, and this is their journey. I mean, what a new and interesting story you could tell there. All right, so let's dive deeper into that actual story and how it might piss some people off, but it also kind of makes sense. So the part that'll make a lot of people mad is, oh my god, it's focused on women and women power? I'm a man. I don't deal with that bullcrap. Whoa, whoa. All right, now that you're done exploding, I don't see the problem with that. It already feels like they're going in a different direction there, not only by having the all-women group of friends, which would kind of make sense if you saw the first Chronicle. That's how these people get their powers, is by a group of friends going into a place that they're not supposed to. And I think if it was just another random group of three guys, it would just feel like a real rehash of the first movie. And in fact, they were trying to make a Chronicle 2 years ago when the first one came out, but that's exactly what they wanted to do, is just ignore ignore the events of the first movie, get another group of friends, give them the superpowers, and basically tell us a different version of the same movie. Obviously, the people who made Chronicle didn't want to do that, so then we just never got a sequel. The other part I like here that's making it different is these women are straight out of college, so they're basically adults, way more educated and mature, which if you remember the first Chronicle, that's kind of one of a big factor that these kids do with their powers is that they are kids in high school, they're young, they're reckless, and they were just doing a lot of dumb things with their abilities. What would happen if an adult got those powers and was more mature, secretive about it, and was probably better at hiding it? In the same interview, he also mentioned that the movie would be taking place 10 years after the original, so it is set in the exact same universe, and the events that happened in the first Chronicle movie will be touched upon, and it looks like they will be addressed by people calling it fake news or stuff that was made up, because you gotta admit, the way that movie was shot using found footage and a a lot of people being able to capture these kids with superpowers on their cell phones. Nowadays, everybody would be like, oh, that was made up. That was just visual effects. That's not real. And then you'd have the other group of conspiracy theories out there going, no, that's real. And the government's trying to cover it up. Because there was a section in the movie where the government seems to have found that magic loin rock, quarantines the area and takes it away. So the US government is aware of this floating rock and people who get superpowers. This time around, we might actually see them go after these young women once they get it, since they don't want a similar event to what happened in the first Chronicle. To me, I'm just excited to see another Chronicle movie and what they're going to be able to do with the camera work because that's one thing about the Chronicle
Chronicle films is that they're able to cheat a little bit and have it not completely feel like a found footage movie because the main character was able to hold the camera using his telekinetic abilities. So in a weird way, it started feeling like a regular movie that wasn't found footage since you got to hold the camera in all these weird angles that you're usually not able to in most found footage films. I really hope the surviving member of the first movie shows up. They can't really bring in Dane DeHaan or Michael B. Jordan because, well, those characters died in the movie unless they bring in new lore that this magical rock also makes you immortal and they come back to life, which I wouldn't doubt it if they want to bring back Michael B. Jordan. He's a big star today. All that's left now is to see who they cast as the three young women, and I would love to hear your guys' opinion on who you would want to be cast for the three new leads. I'm just going to throw it out there. Haley Steinfeld, I just want her and everything, so put her as one of the leads. But you guys hear about these details involved with Chronicle 2. Does this get you excited? Will you be watching the sequel and start putting out your theories and speculation to what they could do in the second movie? Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.